Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Linux gaming on the all-new Menace Forum UM790 Pro, and this thing is packing a real punch given its form factor. Recently, I posted a video kind of taking a first look. We tested out Windows 11, and gaming performance there is great, just at 65 watts. But I had a lot of people wanting to see some Linux gaming, specifically using something like SteamOS 3, so I figured I'd go ahead and make another video. And I'll tell you right now, this is one of the best performers that we've seen, and of course, next generation, it's going to get even better. That's how technology works. But this is using the new Ryzen 9 7940HS, and this is something I've been really wanting to test out with SteamOS, and we finally got access to a mini PC with this powerful new APU. Now, I would have loved to install SteamOS 3 on this, but as we know, Valve hasn't released it for anything other than the Steam Deck yet. And there are some variants floating around, like Hollow ISO, but it hasn't been updated in a while, and I've been having real issues with Ryzen 7000 and the operating system right now due to driver conflicts. So what we're going to be testing out in this video is Chimera OS. It's got all of the bells and whistles that SteamOS 3 does. It uses OTA update, so you don't have to worry about downloading a new operating system and installing it to the drive. And we've actually got some extras here that you do need to install manually with something like Hollow ISO or SteamOS 3. We've got access to Proton GE right out of the box, so uh, there is a lot that's gone into this operating system. I've done a couple videos of this running on mini PCs and larger gaming PCs. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorites right now. And if you're looking to game on Linux and just have all of those uh, features that SteamOS 3 does, this is a really good option. Very easy to install. All of the information you need to know is over on the website and it's continuously updated. If you want to learn more or you want to download it and install it on your system, I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. But uh, before we jump into it, I did want to give you a quick refresher on the specs of the new UM790 Pro. Like I mentioned, this is using the new AMD Ryzen 9 7940HS Phoenix Point APU. Cores are based on Zen 4. Graphics are based on RDNA 3. 8 cores, 16 threads. We've got a base clock of 4 GHz and a boost up to 5.2. Built-in Radeon 780M graphics with 12 CUs up to 2800 MHz. This uses DDR5 at 5600 megahertz, and you can get this with 32 gigs, but this one has 16. Two M.2 2280 PCIe 4.0 SSDs can be installed in this unit. We've got Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, and of course, for this video, we're going to be running Linux, but if you end up picking this up over on their website, it will have Windows 11 installed, or you can go bare bones with it if you want. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into Chimera OS and see how this thing does. Okay, so here we are, up and running. Got everything installed that we're going to be testing out, and it's a very smooth experience. I've got an Xbox controller connected, so if I press the Xbox button and A at the same time, it'll bring up our menu over here. That way we can change everything we need to. So we've got our on-screen overlay, just like the Steam Deck. Half-rate shading if you want it. TDP control and uh, manual GPU clock will not work from this setting because we're not using the Steam Deck's APU. But uh, everything else, even if you wanted to go with uh, system-wide FSR, you could do it from here. But um, so far, so good. Working really well. If I head over to settings here, system, scroll on down, you can see that we've got that AMD Ryzen 9 7940HS. This does have 16 gigabytes of DDR5 running at 5600. I've got two gigabytes of VRAM dedicated from the BIOS. We can go up from there, but uh, there's reasons I have it set here. It'll automatically allocate it if I need to. MESA 23.0.2. And of course, like I mentioned, we're running Chimera OS. We've basically got everything we have on the Steam Deck, and uh, it's really great. I mean, it does work out very well. With this system, right out of the box, we do have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth working. I actually have uh, Ethernet plugged in right now, but you can see that we do have Wi-Fi. And if you do end up installing this, keep in mind, once you start up a game, let's just say we want to go with Doom Eternal. It's only going to run at 720p until we go over to our settings, properties, general, and change our game resolution. So if it's set at default, it's only going to go to 720p. I'm at 1920 by 1080, so we can go up to 1080. You could go up to 4K if you want to and uh, try it out. You can change it from the setting within the game. As soon as we have this set, you can go as high as we have it set here. But I'm going to 1080 because we are working with an APU. The TDP is set at 65 watts. We can go higher because of the cooling system that Menace Forum has offered. But uh, 
We're going to test it at 65 and let's go ahead and jump into it with Forza Horizon 5. Forza Horizon 5, 1080p, medium settings, no FSR, no fidelity cast, and we could go up to high here and lock this at 60 if we wanted to, but our medium still looks great as you can see, and we're getting an average of 73 FPS here in Linux. I will admit that yeah, we do get a much higher frame rate in Windows by about 10 to 12 frames at the same exact settings, but this is still very playable and it just works great here on this mini PC. Going back a bit with Left 4 Dead 2, I just wanted to throw this in to show you how well this does run those source games. 1080p maxed out, and uh, you'll see I'll do this explosion, it drops down to 90. This was really the only major dip I saw right there. But we're over 244 FPS with this game, so the other source games, Portal, Portal 2, Half-Life, Half-Life 2, you're not going to have an issue running them on a system like this. And we could go up to 1440p with these games if you've got a monitor that'll support it. Here's Doom Eternal 1080p medium settings, and recently I've done a lot of testing with these new Phoenix Point APUs in Linux. I had issues with this, and uh, I thought it was a driver issue, but it turns out it was user error. I forgot to turn off ray tracing with those last two tests that I did. I mean, uh, we were really close to 60 with ray tracing on, but with it off, we can get an average of around 81 FPS with this game 1080p medium. Spider-Man Miles Morales, same is going to hold true to Spider-Man Remastered. We're at 1080p low settings. We can go up with this and kind of lock it at 60, but I wanted to see how far we could push it. We get an average of 68 FPS like this, and it does still look great at 1080p. Not bad at all, given that this is just a harder game to run on these APUs, and a lot of people have run into issues with this since it was released. But I think the developers have been working a lot of these bugs out with newer updates. I always like to test at least one fighting game, so I opted to use Street Fighter 6, 1080p, low, medium mix, running at 60. Looking good here, and I did test this at all medium settings, 1080p, but when there were a lot of particle effects on screen, I did get some dips under 60, so I kind of wanted to alleviate that. Got a few of those turned down to low, but this is one of those fighting games that works really well on these APUs. Horizon Zero Dawn, 1080p, low settings, 73 FPS, and in Windows we can get a bit more, it's actually an average of around 83, so a 10 FPS uptick going from Linux to Windows, but it's still fully playable here. We're over that 60 mark, and with a lot of this stuff, if you just wanted to run it at 60, keep VSync on. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Cyberpunk 2077, 1080p, low, we're getting an average of 81 FPS with this game on an iGPU. And of course, I know we're at low settings, but that's how it is with these integrated graphics. It's not bad, and it's still really playable. I mean, if you enjoy the game, you could definitely play through the whole thing on a system like this. And finally, The Last of Us Part 1. Recently, they did do an update for the Steam Deck, and I've got that setting ready to go, so we're basically all low settings, FSR is set to performance, but I did turn the frame cap from 30 just to unlock to see how high we could take it. So we're at 720p low settings, and we're getting an average of 74 FPS. Really glad this update came out because, uh, yeah, I mean, this was just a really hard one to run on the Steam Deck. And to tell you the truth, I haven't even gone back and tested it on the deck yet. I might make another video because I did do an initial video when this released. I think we're going to see a nice little jump in performance. So overall, Linux gaming on the new AMD Ryzen 9 7940HS is great. More specifically on the Minus Forum UM790 Pro. They've really put this thing together very well, and if you're interested in checking out some Windows performance, I'll leave a link to that video down below. You can pick this up with either 32GB of RAM, or you can go bare bones, you'll have to add your own RAM and storage. But this is the first 7940HS mini PC we've seen, and it's putting out some amazing performance. I'll have at least one more video coming up, we're going to be testing this at a much higher TDP in Windows, and uh, we'll see a nice jump in performance. Remember, we're at 65 watts, we were at 65 watts in Windows, but we can take this up to 80, and the new cooling system they have can handle it. If you've got any questions, or there's anything else you want to see running on the UM790 Pro, let me know in the comments below. Like always, thanks for watching.